Hey there, Clay Moffat here with Overnight Pictures. Uh, my latest tutorial is ready to go, so I hope you guys are ready to learn from the master. No, just kidding there, but in all seriousness, I'm going to teach you guys a simple way to create rain. And it's all with effects and plugins that come with After Effects. So no outside third-party products are necessary. You don't need to spend a dime. So if you guys are ready, I'm going to show you what you're going to learn. This is the clip. It's pretty simple. Like I said, it's it's easy and you don't need to get anything that you don't already have. You just have to have After Effects, which if you don't, you're lame. I'm sorry, but this is also useful for instead of creating rain, you could realistically make snow with this effect too or some kind of debris. It's really simple. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and start. Here we are in After Effects. This is how many layers you need to create this effect. Not very many, a whopping five. And one of them is the footage that you're going to use. So I brought the footage into a new comp. This is what it looks like. So to get started, we're going to create a new solid. Hit OK. Let's turn our bottom, our footage layer off. And with the solid selected, we're going to go effect. You could potentially do this with trap code particular. In fact, it would probably look better. But for this tutorial, we're going to use simulation CC particle world. That way, anyone can learn how to do this. Let's go to the grid settings and turn it off. So that now we just have some particles doing some stuff. Okay, with a couple tweaks of the settings, we'll be good to go. So let's open some of this stuff up. And let's go into the physics and change explosive to jet sideways. Next, let's go into the gravity vector. And I changed it. I had the rain going this way. And you could do it either way, though. I like it this way with the clip I'm using, but it depends on what you're trying to do. And then let's change this to be kind of like that. Let's move the position over and up. And then let's make it the longevity longer so that it goes for a while. So that we have something like this. Kind of cutting this area off, you could simply move the clip over, push it a little bit forward in Z space so that it gets closer to the camera if we had one. So it's looking good. Now, obviously, this is a downpour. I used a birth rate of 0.6. You could potentially use less because we're going to be having multiple layers. So let's start with a 0.4. I mean, that's still quite a bit of rain, maybe even 0.3. The next step is the color. Go into the particle settings. We do want line. It looks best with line. And then I had the birth color kind of a, a faint blue and the death color, practically the same thing, maybe a little bit darker, just so that it looks like there's lighting as it flashes by. So it's looking nice. That's exactly what we're going for. Okay. So what we're going to want to do is change the opacity to about, I had mine at 30, but we'll put it at 40 so that it's a little bit more clear for the purposes of this tutorial. So you can still see it. I'm trying to record this as most high def as I can, but I only have a Mac with, you know, a lot of good stuff on it. So, you know, sorry if you don't, but it's looking good on my end. So if you're following along, I hope it's looking good on your end too. So let's turn our bottom footage on and just see what we have. All right, let's slide it over so that it's already raining when the scene starts. That looks good. What we're going to want to do is duplicate the layer. And on this one, as you can see, I have glow pulled up. We're going to want to put a glow. Standard settings, exactly how it is. But we're going to go in and change some of this. Let's make this 0.15 so that there's not as many 
particles. Okay, now let's duplicate the bottom layer, this first one, not the one with glow, the regular. Duplicate, and we'll go into the settings, and we're gonna change, let's, let's solo the layer. We're gonna change some of the radius. Basically what we're gonna do is just move it around and make it really chaotic and then push it back in Z space so you can see even more and make it even more chaotic. What we're looking for is basically something like this. Um, turn this up so you can see. This is really what we're looking for, almost like snow flurries. You can see there's some really small particles in this, then they get bigger. And then there's some that go by that just really look like lines and not rain at all, but that's what we're trying to get. So when we turn it on and have all three layers, we should have something like this. Let's go ahead and turn our bottom layer off and just worry about the rain. So with all three rain layers selected, we're going to go blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur and one layer at a time start with the basic layer the rain layer of how we set it up from the start so with that layer selected we're going to want to make the blurriness about three hopefully you can still see that it looks a lot more like rain now D solo and we'll solo the second one this is our little rain flurry blizzard type thing let's make it 2.5 so it's really thin it's more like the background of what's behind the character and the scene so it's looking good even if you can barely see it that's what you want D solo and we'll solo our big layer with the glow now this is the one we want to blurry up the most we want this one to just kind of be like lighting let's change the blur to about 5 that looks good. Okay, so let's turn all the layers back on and see what we have. It's looking pretty good. I would say you could even make this 6, 6.5. Now, if you didn't want to add any color correcting or tinting or any kind of filters, you're going to want to go into your settings and adjust it because it doesn't look superb right now. But if you want to add an adjustment layer, and you could either use Magic Bullet Mojo, which is what I used in the original example. But if you don't have that, since this is using all free comes with After Effects plugins, I'll show you a different way. So we'll go Effect, Color Correction, Tint, and Effect, Color Correction curves. We'll change the tint to about 20 so that it's just kind of sucking out some of the color there and then we'll curve it way down and then maybe boost the light just a, just a little bit. We'll take some of the red out. We'll boost some of the low green. Take out some of the upper green and then we'll spend a lot of time on the blue. And then we'll add one more layer, a solid, and we'll make it a dark gray. It's kind of a dark gray, yeah, dark royal blue solid. That's what we want. Now I know in this composition I only used five layers, but we need the sixth one to duplicate the effect that Magic Bullet Mojo would have. So let's just transform the opacity, and we'll make it about... 20, maybe a little bit less, 15. And then let's actually put this below our color correction layer. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch this. You may even be able to go into the adjustment layer and add a brightness and contrast. 
maybe darken it but boost the contrast maybe let's try negative seven by nine okay so that's looking pretty good you can see how different the footage looks from when it was shot and the rain is just really subtle now also in my previous example for rain this might be moving a little slow especially the flurry layer so what I did is I selected all three layers and I went layer time time stretch and I went from about a hundred percent to seventy to just speed it up a little bit Let's see if you can tell you might even go into just this layer and stretch it to about 60 so that it goes a little bit faster than the other two layers. But if we turn the soloing off, we watch it all now, it should go a lot faster once it renders. There are a lot of tutorials out there on how to create rain, and I've watched just about all of them. They're all really good, but most of them involve either just a crap load of layers using a lot of different effects that you would never suspect would create rain or you're looking at watching a tutorial where you have to purchase a lot of stuff such as you know trap code particular but I think this looks pretty good for what you need to do and the other thing that's good about this is if you need to move the rain around it's as simple as going into the settings on CC particle world for the producer and moving the X Y and Z positions it's really simple Hey, thanks for watching, and make sure you check out the download link below the video for some free goodies from us here at Overnight Pictures. It's pretty much the rain you just created for you guys to use. So, see ya.